What's up, lovely people? And in this video, I'll be showing you how to value a stock. It took six months to get all the information together, so a like to the channel would really be appreciated. Don't forget to also subscribe and comment below. So, with that said, let's begin. So how do we actually value a stock? There are quite a bit of ways that we can actually value a stock, but in this video, I'll just be showing you guys one of the easier route, which is the PB and the PB relative valuation. So what is relative valuation? Relative valuation just means comparing an asset to a similar or comparable asset within the industry. And seeing that we're valuing stocks, we're going to compare stocks with stocks. But to break it down even more, we're going to compare them based on the industry. So you know you'll have manufacturing industry and real estate industry separate. As I said, I'm going to show you using two. We are going to use the PE and the PB, but we're just going to start with the PE first and then we we'll jump to the PB. And for this example, we're just going to use Honeybun as the test subject to apply all the calculations. However, before we can get into the actual calculations, there are a few things that you'll need to get first so we're going to need the company trailing earnings per share which is basically a full year's earnings per share plus the latest quarter earnings per share minus last year's earnings per share and for those who don't know what earnings per share is earnings per share is really just a portion of the company profit that is allocated to ordinary shareholders but if for some reason you can't find the earnings per share on the company's income statement here is how you actually calculate it so earnings per share for a company with preferred and common stock equals net income minus preferred dividends this is a dividend that preferred shareholders would get divided by total outstanding common share if the company don't have any preference share you know that part would just equal zero and you can simplify an outstanding shares on the Jamaica Stock Exchange, which is basically type in Jamaica Stock Exchange and then go to listing and then go to listed companies and then go to markets and you toggle through. So if it's either main market or general market, start then you click view and you just scroll for any button and then voila. Then you just have to do the trailing for the company and as I mentioned it is really just the full year's earnings per share for the previous year plus the latest quarter earnings per share minus last year corresponding quarter EPS. So now that we have the trailing EPS out of the way we are going to actually need now to find the trailing PE and I already had made a video on this so I won't necessarily go in depth in it. However, the formula for PE is outstanding shares multiplied by share price divided by company's earnings. And then seeing that Honeybun is in the junior market and the manufacturing, you just literally have to do it for all of those companies. The last time I checked it was maybe like eight or nine companies. So you have to do that individually finding PE for all of those companies. However, I have two shortcuts. One is that you can actually use Mayberry Stock Tracker, which I already have all the companies PE. The only thing that you will need to know is literally just find which company is in the junior market and is it under the manufacturing. You can also find this on JC, each of them is supposed to highlight. So manufacturing, manufacturing, finance, blah, 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 blah. Good up. Or you can do the other option, which I personally think is the best. And this is not really in promotion, it's just that it's really good. You can sign up for a contact Jane for managers, and literally every Friday they would send you a stock sheet that literally has the PB, the EPS, everything categorized within the industries and within the market, so rather main market or junior market. So that's really up to you. And the process is really simple and it's done online. So you don't even have to leave your house. You can literally just take 20 minutes, fill out information, you know what they're going to need, identification and so on and so forth. But outside of that, 20 minutes and you're done. And then you would not have to go through all of this hustle and hustle. But yeah, so now that we find the industry average PE, we are ready to actually find the fair value of Honeybun. And the formula for fair value is industry average PE multiplied by trailing EPS of the company. So the industry average as of last week Friday was 15.95 and then you just multiply that by 0 0.38 and the fair value using the PE should be $6.06. .06. 
and the last time I checked Coinbon was at a trading price of eight dollars something. So then there is that. But the other part, which is the PB you now that we're going to do, will carry a bit higher, but we're going to go through the process the same way. So the equation for price to book is dividing the market capitalization by the book value of the company. The market capitalization is simply just the price of the shares multiplied by the amount of shares outstanding. So the price of Honeybun share is $8.14. We just multiply that by the number of outstanding shares, which is 471,266,950 shares. And then know you know you multiply that, which would equal three billion eight hundred and thirty six million one hundred and twelve thousand nine hundred and seventy three dollars and now the book value is found simply by minusing the total assets from the total liabilities of the company and this can be found in the balance sheet of the financial statements and seeing that we're using Honeybun, the most recent quarter assets and liabilities were as followed. Non-current assets equal $753,424,053 plus the current asset would be $717,993,524 and then now you know you'd minus that so it'd be two hundred and eighty five million four hundred and four thousand seven hundred and ninety four current liabilities and non current liabilities would equal ninety one million two hundred and thirteen thousand one hundred and fifty one and then that would give you a total of one billion ninety four million seven hundred and ninety nine thousand six hundred and thirty three so now that we have the market capitalization and the book value we need to find the PB, which would be market capitalization divided by book value, and that would give us a total of 3.5. We're also going to need to find the book value per share, and the book value per share equals total common shareholders equity minus preference shares divided by number of outstanding common shares. This would equal 1,094,799,600 and 36 divided by 471,266,950 and this would give you a total of 2.323 but as I say you can actually avoid doing all of this because after you get the PB for honey bunny you're going to have to get back all of those companies that are in the manufacturing industry so you can avoid it by just either simply signing up to the info managers or use the Mayberry tracker anyone you guys feel more comfortable with all right so now we can actually calculate the price so the price using pb is equal to industry average pb multiplied by book value per share which is 3.55 for the industry average multiplied by 2.3 to three for the book value would give you a price of eight dollars and 25 cents so using the price to book honeybun is trading a little below fair value using friday's price because you know a friday price might work with. so yeah however to get like a relatively holistic price because I can see the PE is way lower than the PV. I just normally do an average of the PE and PV to get a price to work at. So by doing that, 8.25 plus 6.061 and then divided by 2, you get approximately $7.16 is the fair value. And that's it. I hope I didn't confuse you guys. And also remember to do your own due diligence as per always. But I hope I don't confuse you guys and if there's anything that you're not clear on just you know leave a comment down below. So of course thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, to your friend, to a friend. And yeah, catch you in the next one. Peace.